Okay, Coach, so 75th career win tonight. Talk about how you first started off and the transformation you've seen this program since your first game here. So that, that means that I'm about 825 behind uh, Ron Mason. Hopefully I live to 140. Uh, you know what? I um, was lucky enough uh, leaving UMass to, 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 well, Don Kuhn gave me my, my chance as, as, as a coach at Princeton and then hired me again at UMass. And when the job opened up here, um, just to be able to coach in this league against some of the greats that have ever coached. Uh, you know, after the first couple of years, if you'd have told me that we'd had the type of success we have the past couple, I, I probably would have thought you were pulling my leg. But um, we've had some really good, good players come through here. Uh, some guys really stopped the tide from going the other way, and, and now it's rolling pretty good. But, um, you know, we're still not too far removed from, from that other side. So we remind those guys all the time, we've got to keep working and moving forward. Now you're a top-ranked team. You're undefeated with your first four games. Going into Vermont, how are you going to prepare, and how is this momentum going to help you? Touch wood, first of all, uh, with, with undefeated. Um, I don't think anyone's ever gone through the season, so we're not going to hold our breath. But um, you know what? We're going to take a day. Um, I thought our guys were pretty tired tonight at the end of that game. We're going to take a day. We're going to regroup. Um, we're going to meet again on, you know, start practice on Tuesday. Hopefully by then we've got a game plan. We'll have some film. Um, you know, uh, Kevin Snedden teams are very disciplined, uh, very well coached. They play hard. Uh, they play a good style of hockey, and uh, they're very good at home. So um, different size sheet for us, which I think might, might be okay. Um, you know, it, it's, the gut's a great place to play. So you don't have to bring any energy because it's there. So uh, we'll look forward to that challenge for sure. Speaking of energy, you had a lot of it here tonight for homecoming weekend. How exciting was it to get the win in front of alumni and all the fans that came out to support you tonight? You know what? The, uh, the Merrimack community, and I include uh, non-Merrimack alums that are just live in the area and bring their families, uh, but the Merrimack community has been unbelievable. We really, uh, we've drawn on a lot of support. Uh, having the alumni back makes it special. Um, you know, but you look at what Chris Hopi and, and uh, in particular Glenn Hoffman have done to this building, uh, not just in the upgrades, but also in, in the game management and uh, I mean, to have Rennie Rancourt singing their national anthem, I mean, I had goosebumps, so um, it's all good. Talk about the physicality of tonight's game. There were penalties left and right. How do you think that affected the play tonight? Hey, the, I, uh, you know, I told uh, Coach Marshall, that is a good, very well-coached team, and they played hard tonight. Um, yeah, that's what non-conference games are, are, are about, preparing us for, for league play. And, uh, I, you know, that's a team that very easily could make the NCAA tournament out of the Atlantic League. That, that's a very good team. I thought they were big and strong. I thought they had some good specialty team players, and, and, um, and Bardis was on his game girl early. So we had to uh, – I thought we did a good job in the third period when it mattered of really playing our best hockey. A shutout tonight. Five goals were scored. How would you grade the team tonight? Um, you know what? I, I think they gave us all they had, <laughs> you know, uh, I think they gave us all they had. Uh, I wish we were a little bit more eager to participate in the, in the um, I mean, they, they really uh, got some energy going and they were really physical with us. And um, I thought we answered the bell well in the third, which is always a positive, but there was a little bit of lull there in the second period. Uh, I'm not sure if it was energy or willingness. Uh, I'm going to err on the side of energy. Homecoming weekend, you get a shutout, you're now undefeated. How exciting is this? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Uh, not just the weekend, but just the games and j this good weekend win yesterday and uh, the team's playing great. So, so far, so good. You picked up a couple points tonight. Talk about the physicality of tonight's game. It was pretty intense. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a tough team, kind of same caliber team, working hard, hit it, hitting physical. So, you know, stuff breaks out sometimes, but in the end, you know, everything settles down, so it's all right. <laughs> there were a lot of penalty, penalties tonight, a few five-minute majors. How did the penalties affect the game? I know you had a couple power play goals. Yeah, power play, penalty kill, you know, win, wins and loses games. And uh, three on threes, there's a lot of ice out there, so, you know, we, we strive on that. We're a fast team, and uh, yeah, it worked out. Your first regular season start, and you get a shutout. Talk about that. Well, I mean, it was great to get the shutout, but the team... It was five nothing game, and we got Jeff Leck and taking one straight off the ankle, getting a bruise for us. I mean, it wasn't just me tonight; it's my team helped me out a lot. And this is a, UConn's a good team, so to get a, to shut them out is a real big honor for this team.